Hello and welcome to Shamrock Rovers Fan TV. Now today we have our match preview for Shamrock Rovers against Bohemians. Now the game is at Daily Man Park in its quarter day kickoff. It's the second time these sides have faced uh, this season in the league. Uh, the first one was a 1 0 win to Rovers at Tallis Stadium. And I think it will be a tough game, but I don't think it will be as tough as previous years with Bows like last year. Last year was very tough with Bows and obviously we went on that run where we couldn't beat Bows. But I think I think this will be a lot easier than it was because I don't think Bows are doing great. Obviously you can look at the stats and they aren't doing as well as they should be, but I, I don't think they're performing too well. Well, they had they had that one one draw with Derry, which was unfortunate. Uh, Derry just scored in the last minute, Daniel Lafferty. But they're getting, they are getting quite unfortunate, but they're not doing as well as they should be. And I think Rovers would be confident going into this game because Bows aren't the same threatening size as they were last year. Now, to start off my Rovers team in goal, Alan Manning. Nothing too much to say about Alan, great keeper, and has been in between the sticks all season. At left wing back, Liam Scales. I didn't have him in the team last time, but I think we need. Well, we have some very good defenders, and we need them all on the team. Uh, he did quite well in that win against Waterford, so I'd have him in the team. At uh, right wing back, I'd have Sean Gannon, and the three centre backs would be Sean Hall, Roberto Lopez, and Lee Grace. In my opinion, that's the best defence in the league. Um, Gannon is still settling into the team when same with Sean Hall, and they're both doing well. So I think that's the best uh, defence in the league. As our left midfielder, Aaron Green, uh, he got his goal. Got his goal against Waterford um, and did quite well. And then I'd have on the right, Graham Burke, who scored a brace against Waterford and did really, really well. So I'd keep him out on the right. And then as the centre midfielders, I, I, I would have Danny Mandrew and Chris McCann. And then up top, Rory Gaffney, who scored against Waterford. Um, did quite well in that game and assisted one of the goals. I think if we turn up and we play how we can to our capability, we'll destroy Bows in my opinion. But if they if they turn up um and play quite well, it will be a very tough game. But we're gonna have to play to our hundred percent capability. And I think if they do play to their capability, we'll still beat them. We just need to give our all. We can't afford to be. Uh, not picking up the three points in these games because we need to push on and we need to get ahead of Sligo for the league title. I still know it's early on, but we need to keep up there right on top. I think for my score prediction, I think it'll be 2 0 Rovers. I'm not really predicting when the goals will happen, but I could see an early one and a late one. I think the game will be very tight. For the goals, I go at Rory Gaffney and Greenberg, who did both score against Waterford on Friday night. But I'd hope it would be a lot more because I really want to come here and destroy Bows. And we're coming in with lots of confidence and we well are capable to do that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Follow our Twitter at SRFC Fan TV and our Instagram Shamrock Rovers Fan TV. And I'll see you all next time. Come on the hoops!